Hello, my name is Zara, and today's vlog we're going to be talking about a guinea pig's diet and what a guinea pig needs in their diet. So, firstly, which is very important in a guinea pig's diet is hay. So, that's the first topic I'm going to be talking about is hay. So, firstly, I've written down some like some guinea pig hay's names on this piece of paper. So, if I'm keeping looking down on this piece of paper, that is the reason why. So, firstly, I've got which is oat hay, and with oat hay, it just looks like straw, and basically just looks like yellow straw hay, but it's called oat hay. And oat hay is very, very good with with your guinea pig, like it's not a bad hay at all to choose for your guinea pig. And secondly, I'm going to be talking about which is alfalfa hay. So, alfalfa hay is basically... Is basically made for baby guinea pigs that are younger guinea pigs and with elf hay you don't really want to be feeding it to an adult guinea pig because adult guinea pigs don't need elf alpha hay they need adult guinea pig hay and the other hay which I'm going to be talking about is parsley hay so parsley hay is a very good hay to use as well that's my opinion, like it's not bad hay to use, like that's another hay that you can use as well and it's really, really good as well. And the other hay that I'm going to be talking about is Timothy hay. So Timothy hay is just a really good hay to use, like it's green, it's nice and fresh and the brand of that hay is called Oxbow hay. So Oxbow hay is a very good hay to use for your guinea pig if you want to be looking for a very good hay to use for your guinea pig. Um... And with myself, with me owning guinea pigs that I've had in the past, the only brand of hay that I've used is parsley hay. So parsley hay is a very good hay to use. And it's not a very bad hay to use in my opinion, like it's pretty good. Um, the other hay that I've used in the past is Timothy hay and that's Oxbow hay. And that's a hay that I've used with my guinea pigs and I really, really like that hay because it's nice and fresh and it's just really, really nice and green and fresh to use. And secondly, on this topic, I'm going to be talking about guinea pig mixes. So, guinea pig food mixes, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. So, the first one I'm going to be talking about, which I never used this one before, so honestly, I don't know what, what, like, what this one's like, because I've never used it. So, I can't really comment on it. I can't really talk about it that much, because I don't know, like, obviously, I, I haven't used it. And I don't know what it's like, so I can't really say if it's good or bad for your guinea pig because I've never used it. So the other one that I'm going to be talking about is Vet Farm KV Organics. There's like another one there which is called that, but I haven't used that one, so I can't really say if it's good or bad because I haven't really used that brand so there's another option of guinea pig mix you can use for your guinea pig as well because there's so many out there that you can choose from so here's just like a shorter list of names of guinea pig mixes that I'm that I'm sharing with you guys that you can use for your guinea pig and the other thing is I'm going to be talking about is pellets and pellets is a really another good option for your guinea pig that you can use and the only pellets that I've used for my guinea pigs is Oxbow pellets from Oxbow. And they're really, really good pellet to use for your guinea pig if you really want to just use a pellet for your guinea pig. And the other thing I'm going to be talking about is actually the cage size for your guinea pig. Because when you bring a guinea pig home, you don't really want to buy a cage that your guinea pig's not going to be having like not enough room to run around in not enough room to walk around in so you really want to make sure that it has plenty of room to walk around in has plenty of room to run around in and you just want to make sure that your guinea pig isn't that it isn't squished in the cage and that you just want to make sure that it has heaps of room to walk around and run around in and the other thing that i'm going to be talking about is grass so you can give your grass like you can give your grass to your guinea pig from your backyard 
but the things that you need to look out for before you give it to your guinea pig is that one, it has been sprayed and two, it has been sprayed with any bad stuff on the grass. And because if you give your guinea pig grass, it's been sprayed, it's very bad for your guinea pig and it can kill your guinea pig. So you really want to avoid that. You really want to make sure that your, that your grass hasn't been sprayed with any bad stuff before you, be, before you give your grass to your guinea pig. So my advice to that would be, that would be check with your parents before, before you give that grass to your guinea pig, just to make sure that it hasn't been sprayed with any bad stuff and that would harm your guinea pig. And the other thing that I'm going to be talking about is that basically with hay, it's actually 89% of basically of their diet and they just really really need hay in their diet 24 7 and that's just very very important for their health and for their immune system as well and another thing is that with guinea pigs guinea pigs need a lot of exercises because if they don't get any exercise they can turn obese and that's very bad for your guinea pig and you don't really want that because it's not good for their health and it's not good for their weight so you really want to make sure that you're taking guinea pig outside to get vitamin C and to get vitamin D because that's very because that's very important as well for your guinea pig. And before you take your guinea pig outside, you really want to make sure that it's not too hot, that it's not too cold. So so like basically like in between, you want to make sure. And the other thing that I want to be talking about is basically why guinea pigs need toys is because the thing is that people don't realize that their teeth overgrow and they're constantly growing is that so that's why they need toys to grind down their teeth on and that's why hay is very good for that as well and toys are very good for that as well but when you're but when you're buying a toy you just want to make sure that that basically your guinea pig doesn't choke on it or your or it doesn't harm your guinea pig in any way and you and you just want to make sure that it's just safe for your guinea pig before you give it to your guinea pig and that's basically it, what a guinea pig needs in their diet but the mostly important thing is before i go is that they really need veggies every day so the best advice that I can give you is that when you're giving when you're giving your guinea pig veggies is that is that you need to really really look and look the veggie up just to make sure that it is safe for your guinea pig before you give it to them because the best way is to basically look that up is basically like go on like google or something and just write in what veggies can guinea pigs eat and a list should come up is that so like a list should come up of veggies of list of veggies of what guinea pigs can eat and what guinea pigs can't eat and what is safe and what isn't safe for your guinea pig because before you get a guinea pig and before you bring it home you really really want to make sure that you've done all your research that you've done everything and that you've got everything ready before you bring your guinea pig home and you've done all the research and that you basically like know basically like you know a bit about the guinea pig and you basically know what sort of veggies they can eat and what they can't eat and another thing is that what a guinea pig needs as well is that basically they need to basically you need to cut their nails and th and the thing is that you need to look out for is that they've got a quick so you just got to make sure that you don't cut that quick because if you cut the quick you can actually make the guinea pig bleed and you don't really want that so just keep in mind that you just got to watch out for the quick in their toenails when you're cutting their toenails and that's basically what a guinea pig needs in the diet so i hope you like it and thank you for watching